I have the Google Pixel 8 right here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to unlock its bootloader. And know that all of these steps will be exactly the same for the larger Pixel 8 Pro as well. But before we can begin this guide, I do want to point out that unlocking the bootloader will result in all of your personal data being erased. So, if you have any important pictures, videos, apps, or anything else stored on this device, then back it up before you proceed. I also need to make note that not all Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro devices can be bootloader unlocked. For example, if you bought one of these phones directly from a wireless carrier in the United States or in Canada, then it is highly likely that the carrier themselves are blocking you from unlocking the bootloader. So if you run into any issues with the steps that I'm about to show you, then that may be the reason. Now the first thing that we need to do is enable developer mode. Doing so will reveal a hidden developer options menu from within the system area of the settings application. Now I have already shown you how to do this for all Google Pixel devices in the past here on the channel. So in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll be linking to that guide down in the video description below. You will need to follow those steps to unlock this hidden menu before you can continue. Now with that done, let's dive into the developer options menu and begin looking for the OEM unlocking toggle. This should be fairly close to the top of the list, so you shouldn't have to scroll for very long. We're going, going to enable the OEM unlocking toggle to allow the bootloader to be unlocked. And we're going to confirm that this is what we want, we want to do by tapping the enable button. After the OEM unlocking toggle has been flipped, we then need to boot the Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro into fast boot mode. Again. Again. This is something that I've already shown you how to do here on the channel. So if you're not familiar with this process, then check the video description below for a link to that dedicated guide. So here we have our Pixel 8 in fast boot mode. And the next thing we're going to need to do is have ADB and fast boot tools installed on our PC. Again, if you're not familiar with how to set this up, then look down in the video description for a link to a tutorial that I have already done that shows you how to get ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. We have now plugged in our Google Pixel 8 to our PC with a USB cable. And now we're going to open up a command prompt a Windows PowerShell or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Then we're going to run the command Fastboot space devices and then press enter on the keyboard. We do this to make sure that everything is working properly. If you are told that no device is connected, then you may have some USB related issues to troubleshoot. For example, you may need to find the USB drivers, or you may need to use a different USB cable or USB port entirely. If you see your phone's serial number right here, then you are good to go. Now we're going to run the command fastboot 
space flashing, space unlock. After that command has been typed out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard and then turn our attention back to the Pixel 8. This will bring us to an intro page for unlocking the bootloader of our device. If you want, you can back out now by making sure the do not unlock bootloader option is highlighted and pressing the power button to select it. But if we confirm the process by pressing the volume up or volume down button to make sure that the unlock the bootloader option is highlighted and then pressing the power button to select that option, then the Pixel 8 will reboot, it will wipe all of its data, and then it will reboot us back into fastboot mode. And right off the bat, we can see that the device state has changed from locked to unlocked. And this is referring to our bootloader. So from here, we're going to make sure that the start option is highlighted, which it should be by default. And then we're going to press the power button to select it. This is going to reboot our Pixel 8 or our Pixel 8 Pro, and it's going to boot us back into Android. Just remember that we did a full factory data reset when unlocking the bootloader. So this first boot back into Android will take a little bit longer than normal, but we will be taken to the Android activation screen. And with the phone booted back into Android, we can enable developer mode. And then again, check the developer options menu, scroll down a little bit to look for that OEM unlocking option. And we can confirm that the bootloader has been unlocked since this toggle is grayed out. And we are told that the bootloader is already unlocked. So if you ran into any issues during this process, then please leave a comment down below. I can't promise that I'll be able to answer everyone, but I will certainly help out when I'm able to.